Hello everyone and welcome to Cronkite Cut, where our entertainment news is a cut above the rest. I'm Brandon King. And I'm Jordan Elder. Today we're going to be talking about the return of Riverdale and which celebrity wants to spend his Benjamins buying the NFL. But first, we're going to Edgardo to find out which of our favorite childhood stars are releasing new music. Former Disney Channel queens Demi Lovato and Miley Cyrus both released new albums recently. Lovato's Tell Me You Love Me and Cyrus is Younger Now were both very different in sound but delivered in quality. Both women released their new LPs on the same day, bringing fans of these two artists to compete for a higher spot on the Billboard 200 album chart. Both Cyrus and Lovato debuted on the top 10 of the Billboard 200, but Lovato took the higher debut at number three, leaving Cyrus to debut at number five. Lovato's new LP showcased a side of her we have not seen with songs like Daddy Issues, Sexy Dirty Love, Ruin the Friendship, which is rumored to be about her pal, Nick Jonas. Lovato gave fans an album filled with vocals, lyrics, and infectious beats. On a different side, Miley's Younger Now was a right mix of pop and country with songs like Week Without You, Love Someone, and Rainbow Land featuring her godmother, Dolly Parton. Younger Now was the complete opposite from Cyrus's previous album, Bangers, but this change is something worth loving. With two very different albums, these two Disney X acts gave their fans everything they wanted and more. That's it for me. Back to you guys. Thanks, Agardo. Now, Brandon, I don't know about you, but I am sincerely happy that we are out of Dead Pets era Miley. I was a little scared of that Miley, but this one seems very nice and Yeah, I know there were a normal. lot of fans of that uh, Miley Cyrus and her Dead Pets record, and I understand uh -huh. that it's all subjective. I was not, you were not, and I no. think we're both glad to see Miley returning sort of to the country style roots. And I heard Malibu, I was a big fan of that, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm very excited to check this record out, yeah. I just love her and Liam Hemsworth too. I feel like as long as they're together, we're going to get some nice, normal, good, lovey music, which is much better than where we were And you know what, I think Miley Cyrus does that relatively well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too, definitely. And now on to something that is still a little weird. Let's go to Francesca to find out who's interested in buying the NFL. From Sean John Clothing to opening up his own charter school to becoming one of the wealthiest entertainers around, P. Diddy is thinking of going where no other rapper has gone before, the NFL. The 47-year-old rapper turned businessman recently voiced his desire to own the league by tweeting that his dream used to be to own a team, but now it's to own the National Football League. And that's not all. Diddy continued by describing how he would better the NFL by players having their own retirement plan and being able to protest without being demonized. This probably stems from recent controversy surrounding players who decide to take a knee during the national anthem to protest protest unjust treatment of people of color. Now, according to Forbes, Diddy's net worth is currently $820 million. Now, he has plenty of moolah, but is it actually enough to purchase the whole NFL? We'll just have to wait and see. After all, can't nobody hold Diddy down. Thanks, Francesca. So we've known for a while now that Jumanji has had a sequel in the works, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, and it's coming out in this December. However, what we didn't really know is how this movie would really tie into the original 1994 movie uh, with the late, great Robin Williams. But in some recent comments by actress Karen Gillan, who is in the upcoming Jumanji sequel uh, with Collider, we recently found out that it ties into the original in a very interesting way. According to Karen Gillan's comments, the original, is, uh, the original setting of where Robin Williams was sucked into in the board game is basically where this movie is set to take place. In essence, it's a movie with brand new characters, a brand new story, but it's taking place in that original game setting that we didn't really see in the original. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle is set for release this December, and we'll have to see how interesting it turns out. Um, Jordan, have you seen the original Jumanji, and what do you think of these comments? I just miss Robin Williams, to I be completely too. honest. And uh, this cast of characters is great, but they're not Robin Williams. Like, yeah. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is cool. Kevin Hart's... Yeah, he's questionable. But Robin Williams, how are they, I don't want them to do it without him, but they kind of have to. I mean, you know what, I, I was skeptical about this Jumanji sequel at first. I love the original that Joe Johnston did, uh, but uh, coming from these trailers and now these comments from Karen Gillan, it's slightly getting me to the point of like, I could see this and be interested in it. I'm excited, yeah. Well, let me know how it is. I absolutely will. And now let's send it over to Lauren to find out how fans reacted to the return of one TV drama. 
After three months, the popular TV drama Riverdale finally returned on Wednesday night. The show kicked off their second season, picking up right where they left off. And spoiler alert, Fred Andrews is alive and recovering. Thank God. And according to Variety, the episode was the highest rated and most watched episode of the show to date. Viewers instantly took to Twitter to express all of their feels. One user tweeted, now that Riverdale's back, my life is complete. Another agreed tweeting, and that is how you start off a season. Riverdale is back, but something not so anticipated? Rumors of the end have Bughead got many viewers dreading the end of their favorite ship. Season two will definitely keep fans on their toes. I'm Lauren Sheeler, back to you guys. Thanks, Lauren. That'll do it for us for this week's episode of Cronkite Cut. But remember, we're always online and on social media, so be sure to check us out at Cronkite underscore cut. And for all the latest episodes and bloopers, check out our website, CronkiteCut.com, or our YouTube channel. We'll be back next week. I'm Jordan Elder. And I'm Brandon King. Cronkite Cut is your source for entertainment news, a cut above the rest. Thanks for watching.